Hi guys, so this is going to be showing you how to change the spark plugs on a 2012 Dodge Ram 5.7 Hemi V8 engine. Um, this, when I did it, I also uh, did some carb work, but I'm not really going to get into that. I'm going to show you the tools you need though, um, or what would make it a lot easier to have. First thing is light, just like this, uh, good light. Uh, with a clamp, preferably, because it's got to be able to clamp onto the car and hang down. You're gonna, I use a 3 8 ratchet. Um, that's something I learned to like, just because it's not too big, but it's also not tiny. Uh, I like having these little extensions, so like uh, the short ones that kind of maybe about an inch long with these separate elbows. Uh, I'd recommend getting two of these, and then three of these little extensions right here, because that makes it easy. So, you have these three right here, you have these two elbows, and a 16 millimeter socket, or, I think it's a 5 8 yeah, 5 8 magnetic socket, um... AutoZone, I got the one that has the swivel head extension, which is very great for this type of vehicle just because the cylinder is barely, is just too short to make it. So you pop this in here, you are literally, like you have about a quarter of an inch headroom to attach on and it makes it a lot easier. Another thing that makes it a lot easier is to have one without an extension. And that's what makes that great. Um... This tool right here makes it also very good. This will show your um, your spacing for your spark plugs. So a Dodge Ram is supposed to be .45 right there where I put that black tip. .45 uh, inches and it should fit right perfectly with the um, Autolite Platinum uh, spark plugs that I got. Sorry, These spark plugs were $3 at... Auto Zone, they have I think 75,000 miles on them. Uh, another thing that is great to have is this tool. This is an extendable magnet tool, right here. See, uh, and this helps you for when you are taking the bolts out of the engine bay, because when you're looking at the engine, you're kind of facing down it, right there. Is about where your bolts are. So it's practically they're pra they're practically uh, horizontal. So that's what makes it hard because you do not want to lose your bolts, and that's why I have a magnetic trick um, to put your bolts in so you don't have things falling all over the place and going down the engine bay and all that. And, uh, and the last things you're gonna probably need, unless I forget something, is the anti seize and the dielect uh, paste. And the anti-seize basically goes onto the bottom of the spark plug, and the dialect goes onto the top for the boots to have a stronger connection and to help that connection stay sealed. Let me show you a little bit involved into working on it. So, when you get into cupping the hood, here's the reason why you're going to want that light. You're going to see uh, the light there, but honestly, that's not the light. It's this one right here, this painter's light. See? You can't really see anything with just that little light. You gotta have this second light, especially when you're gonna be working on here for a couple hours at a time. Um, first thing you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to have a cla uh, cloth on hand, and that is because you're gonna have to take this right here off. That is your hose for your air intake manifold. Uh, right here. And what that does is brings it in from the air filter over here, and you have this unfortunate this cable right here. And what that does is uh, it does something I don't know. This that's not what I was trying to say. This is what like it does is bring air into the engine, but it's in the way right now. So right here, uh, you kind of see it right there, that metal wrap right there. Uh, that is what clamps on this hose, okay? So you have to unclamp that, 
and that'll come just it'll pop right off and then right here this slides down and back and up and down and all that but once you pull this pull this up do not just start pulling on this right here you can kind of see it that black thing right there you think that's the wall nope that's the button that you got to push for that to come on done so once you get that all on done gotta come down to this end you got a couple latches down here so you have to have you have latch number one right there you have latch number two and you have latch number three right there and then way on the other side You've got latch number four right there. Wait. Just put the magnet thing on there. It's right there. Basically right along there. Um, once you do that, you have to take off your black cover right here. This just pops right off. Now for the cover. So, here's a little trick I learned the hard way. That right there, there's two hoses. The uh, coolant and all that. Those go and clip and they can move actually. So, that was actually really good to know that right here, you take a screwdriver, I can kind of do it with my hands. This just kind of pops off. You can't do it with my hands. But it pops off and then you can move these around because they have the uh, rubber ends. Except for over here. They have rubber ends on this side. So they're able to move around pretty easily. So your first boot is going to be right here. And it's right kind of hard to see, but it's like, hold on, so you see that plug right there by the engine oil, hold on, so, right here, that right there, that's your boot, that's your uh, boot, and that's your first one, and then you have one right there, and then you have one back there. And you have one back there. You actually end up actually laying on the engine. You have two. You have 16 spark plugs in total. Um, two per boot. And there's certain certain ways using the tools I showed you. You can fit it. I promise it works. I just did this the other day. And another thing. When you're back here, you got to number these. They are color coded. Um, at least I are on mine. But just number them just in case, because do, you don't know until you need these that they're color coded. Because you can't get that fourth one until you take these off. These are your ignition cables. So, uh, it took us 30 minutes to figure out why the truck wasn't working was because these were not plugged in. So make sure you remember that. Um, and then when you just put it back together, just take your air filter and put it in a trash bag. And then when you're done, just put it back in here. It's a lifetime air filter, so be gentle with it. And then just hook it back up like you see. While you're working on it, you're going to want to stick a cloth down your carburetor to keep dust out and put down like two old blankets or towels because you literally, your ribs are going to be dying the next day. Um, I'm not saying it's an easy job, I mean, but it's better than paying $300 to $400 because we've probably spent $100 doing what they wanted $500 for. So it definitely does make you feel worth it, um, even if it does take a little bit longer. Um, it's a bunch of fun. Also, you get to learn how to do it, and it just helps uh, if you have kids or whatever. It helps them learn. So yeah, remember. I hope this video helps to uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see y'all later.